Welcome to part two of Reactor Blocks Prime's patch tutorial. In the first part, we got into making sound, shaping sound, and animating sound. And in this tutorial, we're going to get into dialing in some rhythmic elements and melody. So let's continue this patch by taking the gate two out into the CFG gate in. You'll notice the LED will start pulsing at the same rate as the clock dividers um, gate two out. So we're gonna pull down the attack and the release of the envelope. And now you can see it's pulsing at the same rate as the clock divider. So now we're gonna close our low pass gate and we're gonna use that envelope, the CFG envelope, to pluck or to open this low pass gate. So we're going to take the gate out of the CFG, gate out one, and we're going to put that in so the pluck in of the low pass gate, and now you'll hear it rhythmically opening that low pass gate. So now we're going to go over to the XYS sequencer and we're going to start sequencing some notes into our patch. So as you can see the sequencer is moving along with the rate of the clock divider's pulse. And then we're going to use these attenuverters to either dial in positive value pitches or negative value pitches or low notes or high notes. So we're going to take our output of the XYS sequencer and we're going to put that into the pitch end of the carrier wave of the DWG oscillator. So now we're going to start dialing in some pitches. To the right is high notes and to the left is lower notes. Now we need to click this keyboard to actually track the pitches. So now we're just going to kind of randomly go through here and, and dial in a melody. Um, like the candy commercial said, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. So this is the part where you just, you know, express yourself and, you know, make a melody that you're feeling at the moment. Okay, so now that we have our melody dialed in, we're going to go back to our DWG oscillator and we're going to start messing with the frequency modulation bus. So what this does is the modulating oscillator frequency modulates the carrier and the carrier modulates the modulating oscillator. Here, I'll show you. So this is the sound of the modulating oscillator frequency modulating the carrier wave. back to no modulation. It's going to dial in a little bit. So now we're going to hear the sound of the carrier wave modulating the modulating oscillator. So now this is kind of creating just like a feedback network of modulation, you know, from modulator to carrier and carrier to modulator. And this knob down here is a wave shaper that goes from sine to triangle to square and all points in between. It's another, another sonic option for you to mess with. So now we're going to go back to our modulation bus and we're going to actually automate some of this frequency modulation to give this patch a little more movement.
Thank you for tuning in to Reactor Blocks Prime's patch tutorial part 2. Stay tuned for part 3 where we finish up this patch by adding reverb and a little bit more modulation. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.